Guys, I just reached the hotel. The journey was good and it was a bit too sunny but I think at the end of the day it was really nice I am now looking for the entrance ah da steht Zugang Hotel I'm very excited and rest I will tell you later Tell will send me the invoice or she will send me the invoice later on or maybe I can do it also at checkout. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> now I can relax a bit. There is an air condition. Hi guys, I'm Nikita and welcome back to my channel. Guess what? I'm right now in Austria in a hotel where I am not um staying for a vacation or something but i'm here because uh of youtube so uh three to four weeks ago when i was in a vacation uh, i got an email from this person um, who wrote me about this event where the nobel laureates come and they meet young researchers and scientists and there are workshops from different universities and different institutes for this event they uh, basically want to promote education in the state of baden-württemberg of germany and for this event they are looking for bloggers and vloggers youtubers and social media people who can promote this event and at first when I got this email I wasn't very sure that uh, if it's really legit but then I researched about it and I found it that it's legit and the person who's also writing me is uh, legit and then I responded that okay I will communicate it uh, communicate with you once I'm back and I spoke to this person and I got to know that it's an amazing event that is one promoting the education and uh, to uh, the state of Baden-Württemberg in Germany is basically the top state with the highest research fundings for research projects and for education purposes. So I was pretty much interested because I myself first I am a PhD and I know how important is it to get fundings for your research. It's very difficult when you don't get fundings. You might really have to end up your research. The entire research group or the PhD students might have to look for something else. I know it's uh, very stressful, so I know how important it is to have a proper funding for your work. And second, this is my uh, actually the very first event that I'm doing officially via YouTube uh, on YouTube to promote this event so it's like it's it's a very very big deal for me and I might not sound really right now too excited uh, but I am and to be very honest more than excitement I'm extremely deadly deadly nervous because since as I told you I have never done anything like that so it's kind of a professional uh, event or professional meeting that I will be when I will be meeting with those people um, that I'm doing by YouTube and I have no idea whatsoever uh, will follow up what I will be basically doing is that tomorrow on July 5th there is a boat trip on the Bodensee I don't know whether in English also it's Bodensee or how but in German it's Bodensee and on this boat there will be like around more than 20 research institutes or groups from universities presenting kind of um, what they do just like presenting what their group is doing and at the same time there will be young researchers and scientists like PhD people postdoc people or students from different parts of the world who actually have to apply for this event and they have to go through a scrutiny and then their applications are accepted and along with those there will be Nobel Prize winners that's what is hitting me very hard because I personally have never even seen a Nobel Prize winner in my life in real so I don't know I know they're like normal human beings but I have 
high and deep respect for them so I'm I'm really nervous how it's going to be I will also try to catch hold of a couple of Nobel Prize winners and I want to I want to I want to see how, how how it all works out so right now I am in the hotel because I had to check in today as this evening I will be meeting the organizers for the very first time along with me there are two more bloggers now with the, uh, the other two bloggers we will be going to have dinner together with the organizers there maybe we will talk uh, the other details out and finally tomorrow early morning at 7 we will be picked up from here and we will be taken to the place where the boat trip actually starts and then in the evening we will be dropped back to the hotel guys I'm ready I just straightened my hair a little bit and uh, I'm wearing just a normal shirt. It's going to be the first contact. It feels like first contact with the people. I'm super nervous, super excited, but very nervous and less excited. Actually both. I hope it goes well. So cross my fingers. The other two bloggers are also staying in the same hotel and we decided that we three will share a taxi and go to the venue of the dinner right now. It's around 30 minutes apart, uh, so 30 minutes away from here. And uh, I don't know, reception. So it's 30 minutes away from here, that's why we are like already going at 6.45. And yeah, I'm very nervous. The third vlogger isn't coming. Would you like to be on the camera? <laughs> Just saying hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the third vlogger we got to know cancelled and so we are only two of us and we are not waiting for the dinner time with the main organizers. Yeah. I'm back in my room. It was wonderful, like really amazing than I expected. So uh, this blogger um, I had this another blogger, Susanna Kelly, there, and it was really uh, such a pleasant environment. Everybody was so friendly. Um, we talked in English, although it was not uh, easy for the organizers, but they did. They're really cooperative and really lovely people, I must say. So, all the nervousness I had it was really gone in like the very first second I met Susanna down, and then when I met the others, it was completely gone. Um, I came back now at 11 and tomorrow we will be leaving from here at 6.45 sharp to the same place where we met today and we will be starting our boat trip at 7.45 and we have to be there for like um, maybe a couple of minutes before the boat trip starts. It's right now 11.30, I'm deadly tired. Now I have to, I, I, like, I went for dinner and then we were sitting and chatting and then the time passed away so quickly and then I'm finally here in the room. We also got some insights on the event tomorrow and uh, like how, what will it look like and how is it going to be and what are we supposed to do. It was really very helpful. What I really like is when the team you're working with is so uh, positive, so lovely, so friendly and supportive, you tend to uh, put in more efforts than you thought or you can and you tend, you tend to make the work more better than you actually can imagine. So I am really looking forward for tomorrow's event now until uh, before I left my, uh, my room today, I was a bit like nervous, but I must say that after meeting all these lovely people, I, I just, I'm, I'm just glad that I said yes to this event and I came here and I'm doing something that has a f um, great importance in the field of research, education and promoting education from the state of Baden-Württemberg. And I really think that these people are doing the good stuff. Since I have to leave tomorrow like at 6.45 sharp, I have to get up at like 5.45 or latest 550 uh, get shower go to breakfast uh, like for tw in peace for 20 minutes and then finally get ready and leave I'm looking forward for it uh, I'm exhausted to the bone and I hope that six and a half or seven hours with sleep will bring some rest to me 
Good morning, guys. It's uh, July 5, 6.45. I'm supposed to go down and grab the shuttle, the taxi with Susanna and the colleague from uh, the colleague I met yesterday. I was getting up late. Like, I was getting up at like 5.55, but uh, and quickly showered. And then I realized that the time is 6.15. I rushed, had a breakfast. I look not so very special like this and now going for the very first event fingers crossed yesterday my card stopped to work so I have to get a new card for my uh, room so I have to quickly get it renewed because this evening I will be back at 8 and I have no idea whether um, that time I would like to just go to bed sleep or still do something <laughs> We just reached and that's the ship kind of a massive beautiful structure <laughs> doesn't look like a ship so that's where we have to go inside we got our name cards and now the event begins okay. we, st we still have to gather a t-shirt though because we haven't got those and we are wondering where we'll get them from it's pretty cool so yesterday somewhere like behind that place we were sitting and having dinner and today here we are Baden-Württemberg Okay guys, um, so I'm here right now, <clears throat> I'm on the boat, I'm taking a short break. It's an amazingly beautiful boat with like three decks already inside and one top floor and it's full with people of science, students, research uh, students, PhD postdocs, full with professors I see and it's full with like Nobel laureates. I got to see some of those and I was really wondering, yeah, it's, it's amazing to be a Nobel laureate and uh, like inspire so many people because I already just looked at those people and I'm inspired already. And I'm really looking forward to how the event grows and develops because it's already right now looking like full of research um, people. It looks like real conference and um, 
I've been to some conferences and I know how conferences look like. So it's it's really amazing to be a part of such an event. I feel really again good. I'm very grateful to Baden Württemberg to invite me and sponsor me and uh, have an experience for such an event because I think it's doing more good to me than anyone else because it um, it's like my environment. And I'm now just excited because I have to grab certain people for interviews. I think 7 p.m. in the evening we will be back, so like around 11 hours or so we will be on the boat. The gold evaporates and makes a very thin layer. You can control it very nicely. The biggest problem for me was that it also methylated itself. Was daran ist sozusagen das Bessere oder was sozusagen was ist sozusagen dann mit drei kontrollierten Jonas dann besser als mit fünf Jonas? So how was your experience with the boat trip? Uh, it was really awesome. Um, I had some really awesome discussions. I met two young scientists who had actually met here, and they're already like have Bobby. ideas of how yeah. to collab and buddies wow. and they said that they're going to continue working together so that's really cool um yeah it's been awesome just talking to people the young scientists are so approachable and really yeah. friendly and you and can tell everybody is really energized coming off this week and mm -hmm. they all have yeah. ideas and yeah. yeah so it's really exciting to talk to people who are passionate about what they do yeah and and she also got hold of uh, a nobel person a peace nobel prize winner i don't know why i say always Peace Prize, yeah. <laughs> and then she ended up the discussion yeah. on a very happy mood, but it was it was still good. It was still really good. Yeah. It was still good. Yeah, his lecture was really interesting. <laughs> yeah, now we are just looking for. Oh, we have to buy tickets for that. And uh, Hello. Thank you. What? Hello. Thank you. So we reached the panel discussion, the panel session of the event. Pretty nice. degree aren't really sure that it's doing that job or it's doing that job well enough. In fact, just a few days ago, I read that the, the, the Flat Earth Societies, their membership has burgeoned to the extent that they can now fill a 2,000 seater or 2,000 berth cruise liner, luxury cruise liner, and they're organizing a cruise in 2020, but they canceled it when they found out that the cruise ship's navigation system depends on the earth being round. <laughs> I was a bit tired, guys, so I actually slept on the chair during the panel. And then I was so tired that I went back and slept on the grass behind for 20 minutes. It was lovely. Now heading for the lunch. The event is officially over, the, the boat just parked and people are getting out. It was hell of an event, like I have never seen a conference like this. I myself have been to conferences, but the fun, the energy, the, the people having this vibe of like life, like lifelike vibe was here at the, the first time I saw in such a conference or in a conference where you expect that if there are Nobel laureates and if there are young researchers, scientists or research groups, it's going to be very boring, but it wasn't. It was so amazing in the end, people were dancing, jumping like crazy. And uh, I spoke to some of the students who didn't want it to be filmed and um, I asked them, 
what do you miss about the event and they said everything having laureates dance with them on the floor on the dance floor not only along with their wife so like some of the laureates came with their partners but the laureates were also dancing with the students which they found amazing and uh, when I asked them would they like to come back and they were like yes we would like to definitely apply again and come back and this is such a great thing I am back in the hotel it was an amazingly super duper event doing a certain job that I had never done before and working with such lovely organizers so the entire team of Baden-Württemberg was amazingly supportive helpful understanding and not like uh, they are the people who would like just say uh, it's like work and they're just doing from work point of view all this but like from the point of view of helping and like understanding what are the problems of the other people as well um, I'm going to stay this night as well because there were there was like not good connections with the train and I anyway also came with car so I will stay tonight as well here and tomorrow I will check out and in the coming days I will update and upload both the vlogs that I'm planning to do and uh, rest I will put the details down below so I hope you like it and I hope uh, I am able to do justice to this first job that I got via YouTube because uh, because they were so nice people I want to do even much more like better that I can imagine the trip is over I'm back to my hometown like on my way in like half an hour I've reached there it was an amazing trip and I cannot stop talking about it and thinking about how what a good decision I made to say yes and attend this event and uh, I collected such a good experience I'm very desperate to go home and make my videos and share my experience with you and tell you how essential it is to have such events as a student especially in your life and how do they change your life through and through and especially when it comes to meeting people like Nobel laureates in the field of physics in the field of chemistry and talk to them and share your experiences with them have their experiences shared with you it's really life changing i must say so these these people are also stars in their field and their work change the entire scientific um, world so yeah i'm now on my way and i'm very excited to make the vlog about it mm -hmm.